Hey guys, Broheen here with another 60 Warrior spec. Uh, we're going to take a look at some AoE damage today um, with Champion. So uh, we're going to open up macros right away and get right to it. So let me find my Champion macros. Eventually here. Champion is, in fact, very, very simple once you understand the... Um, like the the way to like how it works kind of thing so you have a spam macro a finisher macro um, I, I made single target spam and finisher macros but I you know over trying to use them I kind of realized that it's it doesn't really do any more DPS than if you were just to keep using your regular spam um, and this one was actually is actually redundant now so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that then there's uh, you know, a damage boosting macro as well. So um, actually, it's more of a debuff on an enemy. It's two debuffs on an enemy that still do damage. So um, taking a look at Soul Tree before we go further into that, it's 61 champ, 15 paragon. Um, this spec is 100% melee. I did not add the two in Tempest to get any range because nothing about the spec works from range. So, I mean, if it's either go big or go home. You're going to do tons and tons and tons of DPS damage with being in melee and pretty much zero damage if you were to, you know, shoot, shoot him with a shock pulse here and there. Uh, granted, it is still some, but really not worth it for this spec. I'd rather have it, you know, 15 Paragon because Paragon is pretty fucking awesome. So, um, fill up champion. Do 5 in the Paragon Tree for Teaching of the 5 Rings, 5 in Weapon Familiarity, and 5 in Devoted Training. The buffs we use. I'll go to them here. Turn the Blade again, just like in the Paragon build. It speeds up everything, reduces damage a little bit, but you know, all for the greater good. Um, use Turn the Blade, keep that toggle on, Enhance Conductivity, Dominating Bearing, Shared Suffering, Focus of the Body. And way of the river and again you have another mark this build you have mark of extermination is your best mark that you can use for this um, your spam macro which I have on button number one here we have show disruptive strike suppress macro failures cast rising waterfall cast disruptive strike and cast mighty blow again you'll see some paragon abilities in here like your follow-up attack rising waterfall you might as well add it in there because why not you know every other ability you get you get a free attack you know that builds attack points and um, every other time you use it you're gonna use your follow-up attack and you get the little bit of increase in damage in that through the paragon tree um, the finisher is show Titan strike suppress macro failures cast proper timing cast Titan strike cast chains of death cast blade fury um, our boost is show Death Blossom, suppress macro failures, cast Death Blossom, cast Thunder Strike. Again, I will have these macros in the description box for the video. So, the way the main bar looks, this is um, uh, pretty much a two button spam as well, which is what I'm finding out with most of the warrior builds. They're all two button spams. Um, I'm going to move, you know, move these out of the way here because you know you don't really need to look at them right now but there's really only six buttons I ever use on the bar so this is very simple um, first thing you do is you spam up you get three attack points and then you hit them with death blossom which you know the next single target attack deals 100 percent of their damage up to seven enemies then you start spamming again and you hit your uh, your boost macro again to debuff the enemy with thunderous strike which <clears throat> deals physical damage per attack point up to eight enemies in addition to increasing the damage the enemy takes from the warrior attacks for 20 seconds by looks like you know, 15 percent for three attack points once you have those two up you're gonna go into a cornered beast and this is just like flurry and the paragon tree except it does AoE damage to everything around you once you have those three points built up, you hit them with your Titan Strike, which because you have proper timing, it forces the next ability to critically hit. And Titan Strike is your highest damaging finisher. So um, you can crit, you know, I've already crit in you know mediocre gear, I've already crit the better end of 25,000. So um, it's, it's pretty good for what it is. So 
All right, taking a look at the real swing of things here. Just gonna buff up, and I keep bull rush down in the bar here because you know I can do shit like this. So get in, debuff, debuff again, get up to three. Use your finisher, bam! All those twenty k's across the board. I actually did mess up my own rotation here. I didn't use Cornered Beast when I was supposed to. So pay attention to that last part. But it's really not that big of a deal because you can see I'm already doing, according to Rift Meter over here, for AoE, I'm already doing 42k a second between everything. Now once these come off cooldown, you can you know stack up their effects again. Use Cornered Beast on cooldown when you have mobs around you. Still maintaining 42k. And I have two pieces of T1 raid gear. That's it. So this spec is just gonna womp AoE. No hand, no questions asked. Hands down, just gonna womp everything else in P um, I almost said PvP. In, uh, in AoE damage. All those big numbers. <clears throat> also, on another note, you can add in a savage sweep here and there. Preferably at the beginning. Um, which is actually what I didn't do. I wasn't really focusing on that, but um, that's your, your bleed over time ability. So, you want to keep that for the most part on cooldown. But that's it guys, so it looks like it's tapered off a little bit down to about 35, 36,000 over the two minutes I've been doing this here. Cornered Beast on cooldown too if you can. And that's about it. So, alright, I'm going to let you guys get to her. So, have some fun. You know, whooping some ass in uh, dungeons doing AoE and just blowing people away with your high DPS. You know, blow their meters up. So, alright, thanks for watching, guys.